on this episode <laughs> oh she has pink eye along with three other confirmed cases in her class okay so this is the shrimp that i was talking about so karate time i feel really off i really hope i'm not getting sick One, two, three, i can't hear you i did in fact get sick i really had to call my mom <laughs> i mean i did not see the light of day for two days Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to another day in life vlog. On this episode, <laughs> I have Miss Naomi in the back here. We are just leaving urgent care because she woke up with red, a red puffy eye. So she has pink eye, along with three other confirmed cases in her class. So she will be home for the next few days while we do antibiotics. You are. You are Nene. You are Naomi too, yeah. So, yeah, I don't want to call this a typical day, but being a parent, you have to be able to adapt to whatever is thrown your way. I had a lot of stuff to do today. Um, <laughs> I had a lot of stuff planned to do today, let's just say that. Uh, including work stuff so the work stuff is out the window because of course she comes first she's not sick she just has the the eye drainage and stuff so we're going to go pick up her eye drops and then go ahead and head home um, even though the work stuff is out there's always stuff to be done I still have a never-ending to do list. so we're going to try to get some stuff accomplished while we are home for the day <laughs> Like, I, we're not going to be going out because I can't run any errands because I don't want to take her out. I don't know if she's still contagious. She doesn't have a fever. I know pink eye can spread rapidly, which is why her classroom is pretty much out with it. Half her class is out with it. So we're not taking that risk. So we're just going to go home and be productive at home, okay? I know I have a ton of laundry to do from over the weekend. I know I have um, some cleaning to do because since she has pink eye, I kind of want to... I'm, no, not want to. I'm going to strip their sheets and like sanitize everybody's room because I don't need nobody else getting it. And I know how fast this stuff can travel. So we're going to try to nip it in the butt now and do the laundry and sanitize their rooms. And then we'll just go from there.
Giselle lost her uh, last baby tooth at school and she brought it home in this little box. So she was like, is the tooth fairy still going to come? And I was like, oh, I guess you got to put in your request or whatever. So I had forgot the other night because, you know, she's old, older, excuse me. And she knows the truth about the tooth fairy. But, you know, we still play the game. That's fine. She's still a kid to me. If she wants to continue playing, then that's fine. But she knows the truth. So <laughs> I forgot the first night. So she came to me. She looked me dead in my eye. And she was like, the tooth fairy didn't come. I was like, oh, maybe she forgot. So last night, I actually, or rather this morning, I put some under her, uh, these little Reese cups under her pillow. But y'all see how much stuff she has on her bed? Like I could not find the tooth. So I left the tooth, but it works because she didn't even realize that I left this under her pillow. So I'm going to clean and make her bed and then put it back under the pillow. And now I have the tooth. So it's a win-win. It's the win-win.
see the whole city from this balcony. Back in 2019, I was outside freely, but now they got it out for me. I don't care what frat that you was in, you can't out for me. Keep dreaming. Pineapple juice, I give a sweet, sweet, sweet scene. I know what they like, so I just keep cheesing. Hard drive, feel like he's seeking. Trying to come the same day as Jack rethinking. You don't need Givenchy, you need Jesus. Why do y'all sleep on me? I need reasons. I got plaques in the mail peak season. Shout out to my UPS workers, making sure I receive it. You could do it too, believe it. I've been a throw up the sex in a. Uh huh. And I can put you in. You a superstar now, damn, I guess I am You might be the man, well that's unless I am <laughs> Okay, I'll confess I am Go ahead and get undressed, I am okay. It's so cold outside my brother I don't want pull no trigger I just want me, cause I'm going I don't want no wahala, no wahala, no wahala, no wahala, no wahala, no wahala, no wahala The last time that I check, check Okay, so for the laundry, I'm using just my regular Aroma Boost Gain. And then, of course, I'm adding in my laundry sanitizer, which kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria on laundry. Um, I stopped using this just because I ran out and just never went to go get it. Um, I have to go to, like, Walmart to get it. I don't know. I can't find this. Or sometimes they just be out of stock. But anyways... I finally went to Walmart and read up on it. So we're going to be adding this to all of our loads of laundry today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Alex Epps. Take a look inside your heart. Is there any room for me? I won't have to hold my breath till you get down on one knee. Because you only want to hold me when I'm looking good enough. Did you ever fool me? Would you ever picture us? Everything up when 
it's time for dinner instead of fixing it because karate is from 4 30 to 5 15 sometimes they go over nine times out of ten they do go over and we won't be getting home to closer to six o'clock so i'd rather have everything done because that's when i like for the kids to have, to have dinner at six o'clock so i'm gonna make sure i have everything done before we leave so i'm gonna go ahead and put my rice on Now for the seasonings, I'm using the garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and rosemary. Very basic seasoning. And I'm only cooking four pieces of fish because I know they don't necessarily, it's not their favorite. Fish is not their favorite, okay? And just because I'm a pescatarian does not mean that I'm forcing my kids to eat what I eat. They have a decision as far as what they want to eat and what they don't. And they can make that decision once they get older. But I do try to incorporate more or different varieties of food. So I know that fish is not their favorite, even though they'll eat it, depending on how I prepare it. So with this, I am, I'm also going to be throwing in some fried shrimp in the oven um, because they like fried shrimp. They fried anything, really, but so they along with their one piece of fish to give them some, you know, a healthy protein. I'm going to be adding some fried um, shrimp to their plate as well. They're not just eating just one piece of fish because my kids eat a lot. And yeah. I would throw some lemon juice or some lemons on here, but I don't have any. And we're not going out. So you gotta make do with what we had we wasn't even supposed to have this today um it was the chicken legs that i was going to make but again i wanted to go out to the store this morning or i had plans on going out and everything just got sidetracked by the pink guy Okay, so this is the shrimp that I was talking about. So it's a uh, crunchy jumbo butterfly shrimp, great for surf and turf. So they really like this. It doesn't come with the sauce, but they really like it. They'll dip it in ketchup, barbecue, whatever. So I'm gonna cook that. This takes about 15 minutes. So yeah, so this is the shrimp that I was talking about. Okay, so the boys are downstairs 
eating their snack. I'm about to get Giselle set up for her homework. She has a cumin packet to do. She also has a spelling words and a study guide for math um, that's due this week. So I'm gonna have to do the words when I come back of the study guide. Sears words. This is something that he already completed. So we're going to be working on these words today. And then he brought home an apple seed. So I'm going to do that. I just made some tea. Y'all, I was fine earlier. And now all of a sudden, it feels like I'm coming down with something. <laughs> Like it's so much like pressure, like sinus pressure. My throat feel like weird, that nothing hurts yet. I'm not sneezing, nobody knows, no nothing, but I just feel off. I feel really off. And I know that the flu and stuff is going around. So I really hope I'm not getting sick. I'm gonna try to load up on a whole bunch of vitamins to try to prevent it or at least prolong it or reduce the symptoms if it does come. I really hope I'm not going to get sick, but I just need some tea because, yeah, I just, I feel really drained, like fatigued, like it just hit me out of nowhere. It's crazy. So I'm going to sip this because we have like 15 minutes before it's time to go to karate. I really don't. We're going to push through. It's almost, the night is almost done. So where I can just relax. Okay. Karate time. Done? Two hands, grab your right foot. Watch, two hands, count ten, up and down. One, two, three, I can't hear you. Okay, so it is definitely a almost a week later. I did in fact get sick. I'm telling you, I got so sick, y'all. I had to call in reinforcements. So that night that y'all saw and I was like, I just feel like I feel off. I'm coming down with something. So that was in the evening time. Once I got back and I got the kids in the bed, I just fell right out. I just went right to sleep, right? All throughout the night, like I just felt, I just knew that I was going to be sick when I got up. So I got up in the morning and my whole body was hurting. My head was hurting. Um, my throat was swollen. It wasn't hurting. Uh, like my whole body, like it, my skin hurts like it touched like if someone was to touch my skin it would hurt i think that's pretty like that's the main ones or the ones that stood out to me was the headache and the body aches um so i had to like text my mom and i was like hey are you up i need some help i can't like i really had to call my mom <laughs> i was down for two days when i say down for two days I mean, I did not see the light of day for two days. I literally, I wasn't hungry, which is not like me. I wasn't drinking any type of fluids. All I did was really, I slept. I got up only to take medicine when the pain got too bad, like my body aches and uh, my headaches. And then, so that was for two days. On the third day, I got up because I was like, I can't just keep laying here. It's not getting any better with me just laying here, so I can't lay here. I'm not really a big fan of doctors. So I was like, maybe it'll get better on its own because nine times out of 10, that's what, you're gonna, that's what they're gonna tell you anyway. Unless it's some kind of like, if it's bacterial, they can give you antibiotics, I don't know. But I just thought that I had like the flu or something. To this day, I still don't know. Um, so, okay, backtrack because that day, okay, so earlier this week, <laughs> I started filming on the Monday 
here it is on um thursday okay so on monday we had to stay home Nay had to stay home because she had a pink eye so i got up today because um i was like i can't just keep laying in the bed it's not doing me um no justice by keep laying in the bed so today i got up and lo and behold malachi's eye was swollen and red okay now malachi suffers from like really like really bad allergies especially when the seasons change which we're in that transition right now where the weather doesn't know if it wants to be warm or if it wants to be hot so he suffers from allergies and normally i just chuck it off as it's allergies i'll put some eye drops in his eyes whatever but because nay had already had the pink eye from school a couple days before i just wanted to rule it out so i took malachi to the doctor Time, it turns out that he did not have pink eye. But since I was already there, I was like, let me just go ahead and see if I have anything. So I got tested for strep, um, COVID, flu, and I have none of that. So you mean to tell me that I literally did not get up for two days straight and you can't tell me what I have? You can't, there's nothing that you can offer me but just to keep drinking fluids. I can't even get an explanation of what's going on. But, you know, that's just why I'm not a fan of doctors. I've never had any good experience with doctors for myself, for my children. I just do not like the system. But, yeah. So, like I said, um, I'm up and about right now because I do have more energy. I will say that I do have more energy now. I don't feel drained and depleted. My body doesn't hurt as much. So, I need to get up and move in and I need to get some stuff done. Not a lot because I'm not pushing myself. So um, I want to because I am feeling a little better and I know that my fever had broke the night before. So I want to go ahead and change my sheets and kind of like disinfect my room so I won't just keep inhaling the same germs. So that's what we're about to do now. Like I said, I'm not going to do too much because I just feel like I need to listen to my body and take it easy, but let's go ahead and straighten up my room and get my sheets changed. that I had to do well when I was down and out my mom came and actually took care of all of this for me she washed all the clothes and she folded it of course she don't know where anything goes so she just left it for me which I'm extremely grateful for because that's one less thing that I have to do so I have all of this is folded everything in these are folded so now I'm just going to separate them and get them hung up since everything is all clean won't you, if you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you, love me, won't you? If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you? Ah. If you love me, won't you say something?
push myself because I do not want to be down like how I was before so I'm going to take my time and just do things gradually so I'm about to actually get back into bed with a cup of tea and finish the movie that I was watching which is Thanksgiving and some kind of horror movie I didn't really have no interest but you guys know that I have to put on something when I'm doing laundry so I really hope you enjoyed this video I appreciate you guys coming back and watching and I will see you in my next one I need to hold a corner 